Biker TV is brought to you in part by Zuber and Company, Litigation Council, Hogtunes, audio for the Great American Cruiser, the Cape Breton Bike Fest, Thunder in the Highlands. Railroads are empty and I'm left to change. Ocean of life, I protect you from the waves. I like to think we're wishing on the same star. Build you into something good. Someone said there was 53. I didn't count them up. 53 activities over the five days that are going on. There so is a lot. Of yeah, things. so we're busy. Yeah. We've been busy. Yeah. We've been busy. We don't want to miss anything. And, and the burnout I hear today was awesome out at G Burke. So uh, the burnouts yeah. were fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Good. Everybody's roasting them up for a yeah. worthy cause. Yes. Yeah, Children's wish. That's what we're all about. And uh, also uh, tomorrow we got a tribute to the, uh, the, the the troops, the veterans at the local veteran health care center, and the legions just across the street. So it's convenient. Our parade's leaving from there. Shining <laughs> through the miles, I'll call you mine till the day I am no more. You, you are what I live for. Living for my son, reaching. So what's going on here this weekend? Well, we are up here to uh, to take in the Atlantic Cape and uh, the, uh, the motorcycle rally. This is their year two, so as you can see that it's grown a lot from, from what they had last year. And uh, the weather hasn't been all that generous, but uh, I don't think it's deterred too many people from coming by. No, I don't think so. The crowd's pretty good. Pretty Yesterday happy. was happening. We were straight out basically from lunchtime right straight through to 9 o'clock last night. It was a really good crowd. Yep. Very good. Yeah, the parking lot was quite full mm -hmm. yesterday. Yep. And, you know, the rain. I'm sure if you could get out for a ride right now, even though it's coming down, you'd yeah, do probably. it. Yeah, probably. You would do <laughs> Probably it. so. Yeah, probably so. An hour and a half. Yeah. And, oh, you're doing the countdown. <laughs> countdown. No, never, never, never. It's never. obviously a long weekend for you. It's good fun. It's good fun to be around. But the, the lifestyle is fun and uh, great people. It's our first Atlantic. It's our first Atlantic eight, yep. And uh, it's yeah, possibility to come back next year. Everybody around here knows who you are, though. They know who to see for leather goods and well, all their we're, biker needs. We're liking to hear that with the you know the second shop in, in uh, New Brunswick this year. It's it's uh, it's really good to be able to uh, feel at home in another province. Mm -hmm. it's cool. Obviously successful shop number two. Well, we're hoping it's going well. <laughs> it's nice going place, well. by the way. Thank, Thank you, you very much. So, how are you today? I'm doing great. Doing great. Had a great weekend. Fantastic. Put out a lot of information. Right on. What's your What's your name? Donnie Dort. Donnie. And what are you promoting here? What's your business? Dragon powder coating. Right on. Uh, Where are you located? In St. John, New Brunswick. Ah, beautiful St. John. Beautiful St. John. Very nice. First time at Atlantic Cape? It is, actually. And a great time. Very Super good. weekend. Tell me about your product. It's, it, it acts like paint and acts like armor. It's, uh, it's, a, it's just an awesome product. A lot of people, it was a great informational weekend because a lot of people still think it's like white or black. And we got colors that flip over colors, silver. I noticed that. Is this what you're talking about right here? Uh, that is silver vein. We're talking about something that's green that'll go to blue. Uh -huh. Or, excuse me, or, or this. 
Oh, it's got copper. Amber Illusion. Ah. Amber Illusion. It's a protective coating. It has no holes. The paint has holes, it's a breather. Mm. Powder has no holes. It's pretty durable stuff. Non-breather, stuff. Yep. Like if you had a choice between powder coat and custom paint, you'd, you'd, powder coat's a good bet. Good bet. Especially for rims and... And frames, everything that people really want to last. Great protective coating. Mm -hmm. Rims, frames, crash bars. If it's metal, I'd mine it. Yeah. So you're happy all in all with Atlantic I'm very happy. And you had a good time, enjoyed the Moncton Nightlife? I had a super time. Oh, boom. Street party was... Uh, <laughs> it was happening. It was great, wasn't it? I yeah. lived it. He lived it. <laughs> we had a good time ourselves. Great. Now, it was great to meet everybody here. Yeah. It was a great weekend. Met a lot of great contacts. Yeah, that's and what that it's all about. Thing. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Great everybody people. Everybody getting together. The great people to work with. What's your name? Uh, Katie. Katie. And where are you from, Katie? Sussex, New Brunswick. Sussex. Very nice. And yourself? I'm Holly. Holly. And I'm from West Point, PEI. Very nice. Yes. And what are you doing here? Uh, we're actually shining shoes with uh, Doc Bailey's, which is a great product. Very nice. So you've been on your knees a lot. That's got to be painful. you got bare legs. On our knees all weekend. Hard. That must just, that must just so be hard. Rough for the men going by. <laughs> yeah, I, they can't resist, you know. No, I know. Ladies on their knees, shining their shoes. I know, I've seen guys in the seat that had brand new boots that <laughs> oddly they didn't need to be shined no. at all. Well, you know, you get that, but, you know, it's more like pleasure when somebody else is doing it for you, less like work, so I think they enjoy that. You think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a given. Yeah. So you're... Uh, you're, ha you're helping out with Annapolis Yes, I am. For the very weekend. Nice. So, very nice. Yes, and then we're going to go to get... the Warfront Rally. So, oh. pretty excited about that, too. See, it's rough to be these girls. So rough. <laughs> Running around to biker parties? Shucks. <laughs>
That's why you're getting instability because the tendency for the tread pattern to lock into the groove and then the bike wants to follow where the groove goes. So when I look for a tire, I look for something that doesn't have a directional tread pattern and that will provide me stability and ableness to maintain my speed on groove pavement. When it becomes to wet traction, I look for a tire that has a high amount of silica because silica is a compound that resists water and works with rubber. The tire that I use is the Metzler ME880 Marathon because it has all the capabilities and the characteristics I'm looking for in a tire. Another very popular trend these days is custom motorcycles and building them with the ultra-wide tires on the back. Now, how do you pick the right tire for that? What do you use for that? Not just any old wide tire will do, and especially not a car tire. You've got to get yourself a proper motorcycle tire for custom motorcycle applications. The tire I like for custom builds is the, once again, the Metzler ME880 Marathon because it doesn't grow. The only time this tire will grow is at 130 miles per hour and it will only have one mil of growth. So this will allow me to slam a fender right down on the tire without having to worry about the tire growing at speed and then another custom paint job gone down the road. Spring is just around the corner so now is the crucial time to get out there and inspect those tires. Make sure those PSI's are correct and you got the right air pressure in them and use the right tool and do it when it's cold. Also make sure there's no cracking on the sidewalls of your tires and make sure the tread patterns are evenly wear. Hey, if in doubt, get your wallet out, get down to your shop and buy yourself a new set of tires. These are the two most important things that you can put on the motorcycle. Canada's done another thing for the IMBBA I want to thank you all for, and that is we gave a challenge down in the States with all the bike builders to build a bike and come to the IMBBA national show that was inside the Daytona Speedway, and we also judged the bikes up here in Canada, and I saw some beautiful talent that I didn't see in Germany, I didn't see in France, and I want to tell you where Canada sits right now. Canada went down to Daytona with some of their top builders and they took it away from the American. That's an applause. Let's do it. Now in order to do that, we thought, wow, okay, that's one time. So now I go back on the other side of the fence, I tell the American builders, you're gonna let Canada get away with that? Come on, come on up here and let's build them. And you know what? They came down the next year and did it again. Canada, two years in a row now, has taken the top awards here. First place goes to Frederick Valancourt with 91.6 points on the Rat Shop the Punisher. So the big winner here this weekend, how are you feeling? Yeah, it's very cool. Feels pretty so, good. For the long trip to come here, it's not coming for nothing. You know? Right? Feels yep. nice to take home a great big trophy. Yeah. And you have help. Oh yeah, always. He has, you, you're the helper to carry that trophy, aren't you? It's me. Yeah. Me? <laughs> yeah. So it was worth it. Now you can celebrate and start, yeah. That, yeah. start that holiday we were talking about. Yep, that's it. Now very we're ready nice. to go. Ready to go? Ready to go eat the lobster and go home. Very good. So it was yeah. worth it making the trip to Atlantic yeah. Day. Yeah, it was cool. Very nice. We're going to see. Uh, we're going to see us uh, next year. Very good. It's yeah. a beautiful bike. Thank you very much. Congratulations. You're doing Thank good you. work. Thank you. You do very good much. work. Congratulations to you. You are a winner. Yeah, future bike builder, aren't you?
Yeah, he's going to be a bike builder for sure. Maybe. Good stuff. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you very much. Look at the crowd. Look at the bikes. Yes, both directions, and, uh, and we're trying to give in to the city. We're going to need to expand this. Uh, some of the city officials are around, the deputy mayor. Of Moncton is a, is a longtime uh, biker, Harley driver. He was with us on our ride on yeah. uh, on uh, Wednesday. Then had some lobster, and he's a real big proponent of what we're doing here. So he's in our corner, and uh, we're going to meet with him as soon as the event's over to debrief and look at how we work on improving things for next year. But uh, no, we got the city in our corner, and the province now is on board through tourism. They're starting to see the value of this, and uh, so I think we're going to be in pretty good uh, stead as we go forward with the event. You know what I think, and this is just my professional opinion. I don't think you should debrief. I think you should take a couple of days just for yourself and shut her down. You are a busy guy. Well, well, I'll probably be shut down uh, about day two. I found last year, the first day after the event was over, I thought, it's not that bad. I'm not that tired. And then the day two, it was like I ran into a Mack truck. <laughs> so <laughs> I figured that it'll take a couple of days to recover, and then we'll start working on next year. Very good. Well, good luck with your recovery. Yes. Thank you so much for having us on board. Well, look, we're honored to have Biker TV here, and uh, everybody watches Biker TV across the country. Uh, I know you've gotten a lot of attention while you're down here, right? I have so, a bit, yes, yeah. yeah, you have a lot of new friends now. Yes, a from Moncton, so uh, that's good, and hopefully you guys will be back next year. Welcome back to Biker TV. On my never-ending quest for killer rides, I'm here for Atlanticade in New Brunswick. Today I'm at Toys for Big Boys in Moncton, and you guessed it, we're going for a ride. Let's get this show on the road.
Daryl Livingston, uh, past director of the Monken Hogs. And you're a road captain today. Oh, I'm afraid so, yeah. Yeah, because I'm always lost, eh? <laughs> you heard about that? <laughs> no, I haven't heard about that yet, but so, uh, no. So you having fun? Yeah, fantastic time. Good. How about yourself? Not what too do you bad. think of What do you think of Atlanticade? Oh, I like it. Wish there was sunshine. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming out. Next week on Biker TV. Special thanks to Motorcycle Mojo Magazine, Canadian Motorcycle Perspectives. Butt Buff, for the ride of your life. The Annapolis Leather Barn, now two great locations.